Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. We do have breaking news going across the Middle East there. When I say breaking news, it's the plans that Netanyahu is about to carry out. And I wanted to kind of share something with you before I go into this broadcast. And tonight, don't forget, Stephen Benoon, S-T-E-V-E-N-B-E-N-N-U-N.com. We have space for 500 on a private Zoom meeting there. I may actually go into this subject along with uh, Daniel 11 and some of the mistranslations there because truly this is what's going on. It is a biblical news that we're seeing. But, you know, oftentimes I get beat up. Everybody says, oh, you're become anti-Semitic or a self-hating Jew because you're against Israel. You know, no, I am against a crooked Ahab Jezebel government is what I am against. And Jezebel, by the way, happens to be the United States in this case here. And also her lying uh, prophets happen to be all these pastors in the United States there that is lifting up a truly demonic force in the Middle East to only kill more innocent children in the Middle East. So before I start the news here, which we're going to go right into the times of Israel, the U.S. has agreed to Israel's plan for Rafa in return for not carrying out large Iran strike report. U.S. denies it. Well, what do you know there? Interesting, though, look at the verbiage. They don't carry out a large Iran strike. Well, that means Netanyahu is still going to do an Iran strike, but he's going to get Rafa as well, and the United States is going to be complicit once again in killing a bunch of children. <clears throat> you should join the meeting tonight. Maybe you'll get some more out of that. If you can't, you can watch it on Patreon as well. Patreon.com forward slash Israeli News Live. It'll be posted there. In fact, I did a, a very interesting uh, <clears throat> video today on Patreon that you can watch even now about those rogue waves. Totally different from anything anyone has ever said thus far. At least I throw in my two cents and what I think it could be. Let's jump back here real quick, though. <clears throat> Here's what's interesting. It says in uh, 1 Kings chapter 18, And it came to pass when Ahab saw Elijah, that Ahab said unto him, is it you that trouble, uh, excuse me, is it, is it thou, thou troubler of Israel? I kind of get that all the time, right? And I'm no Elijah by no means, right? But I get that all the time, right? I'm the one causing all the problems for Israel because of me exposing their crimes. And he answered, he says, I have not troubled Israel, but you and thy father's house, and that you have forsaken the commandments of the Lord, and you have followed Balaam. And by the way, the commandments of the Lord here, we're not talking about the, the quote-unquote 613 mitzvot. You know, we're not talking about that. Jesus condemned Talmudic law, and I'm going to be doing a different message on that coming up this week too, about the Talmudic law versus that law that Jesus brought out, like the rich young ruler, the Ten Commandments, Jesus said, because he asked him, what must I do to receive eternal life? He said, you know the commandments? He started to name a few, only of the ten. And he said, I've kept these since my youth. He said, one thing you lack, sell all you have and give it unto the poor. Then you'll have treasures in heaven. But he also goes on to say there were two commandments that all the law hung on, and that was love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, soul, and mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. If Israel and the United States and all these other countries in the world love their neighbor as themselves, we wouldn't be killing everybody. No, instead, what it is, Ahab, modern-day Netanyahu, and his house, including the United States, Biden, Elijah, Excuse me, Biden Jezebel. Let me get that corrected there. <laughs> Maybe that's why we have the first female vice president. And I'm not against a, a, a woman being vice president or president for that matter either. But in symbology is what I'm looking at on here. But anyway, he says, your father's house. And in this case here, his Knesset, Smotrich, Ben Gavir. He said, you're the ones that are troubling Israel, right? Right. He answered, I have not troubled Israel, but you and your father's house, and that you have forsaken the commandments of the Lord, and you have not followed Balaam. Or excuse me, and, 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 you have, and you have followed after Balaam. Now therefore send and gather to me all Israel, count uh, on Mount Carmel, and the prophets of Baal, 450, and the prophets of Asherah, 400, that eat at Jezebel's table. Mm. Yeah, that's interesting, right? Very, very, very interesting. 
and then the showdown occurs. So just like that, just like Jeremiah, Jeremiah also. Yet I had planted thee a noble vine, talking about Israel, holy, a right seed. How then are you turned into a degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? For though you wash you with nitre and take thee much soap and, and, and thine iniquity is marked before me, saith the Lord, how canst you say, I am not defiled? I have not gone after Balaam. See thy way in the valley. Know what you have done. You are swift young camel traversing her ways. <laughs> yeah, so see, the prophets of Israel called out Israel's sins too. So which side do you want to be on? Do you want to be on the side over there with, uh, with all these bunch of uh, uh, Jezebel prophets? False prophets? Or the, like, the, like the one that uh, took and smote the yoke on, uh, on, on, on Jeremiah's neck there? Said, which way did the Spirit of the Lord lead from me? He said, you'll find out. You'll find out. Anyway, so the U.S. has agreed to Israel's plan for Rafa in return for not carrying out a larger on strike report uh, is what the report says. The U.S. is denying it. Egyptian officials tell Qatari outlet that the U.S. has accepted Israel's plan for operation in Gaza city of Rafa in re return for not carrying out a large strike in Iran in response to Tehran's unprecedented missile and drone attack. The U.S. National Security Council spokesperson says the story isn't true and such plan has never been discussed. All right, so they claim it's not true. But I want to show you, though, what happens when Israel carries out strikes in Gaza. This uh, particular video here, very interesting. Listen to uh, about a minute or so of this. Amalek needs to win. Anu zochrim, vanu nilchamim. It's an entire nation out there that is responsible. It's not true. This rhetoric about civilians not aware, not, aware, not involved, it's absolutely not true. In Hashmal, in Mazon, in Main, in Delik, all is closed. We are fighting in the lives of and we are Very puzzled by the constant uh, concern which the world is showing for the Palestinian people and is actually showing for these horrible, inhuman animals who have done the worst atrocities that this century has seen. <laughs> can you believe it? Pause the video, go back and look at it. This is unprecedented evil. No wonder why the prophets of old stood up against Israel because of the leadership. Those that get into power are corrupt, and they have become more corrupt than you could ever imagine. And the ungodliness to this is unbelievable. Come follow us over on Twitter. Uh, you know, listen, our Twitter channel, Israeli News Live, at Stephen Dinun, the, my pen name that I write my books in, D-E-N-O-O-N, Come over there, follow us there on Twitter. We always are sharing very inf important information. And as well, you have this right here. Uh, breaking Israel's is using white phosphorus bombs on southern Lebanon town of Kahaim. Uh, you know, there you can see right there. There's the, here's, here's the actually going off. Right? Right there in southern Lebanon. So, Yeah. And it's not the only time they've used it on Gaza. Um, now, Netanyahu unveils plans to construction settlements in Gaza backed by staggering investments of $5 billion. Let's take a look at this. 
אני בא עכשיו מפגישות עם שרי החוץ של בריטניה וגרמניה. אמש שוחחתי עם ראש ממשלת בריטניה רישי סונאק. בקרוב אני גם אשוחח עם מנהיגים נוספים. אני מודה לידידינו על תמיכתם בהגנת ישראל, ואני אומר את זה גם תמיכה במילים וגם תמיכה במעשים. יש להם גם כל מיני הצעות ועצות, אני מעריך את זה, אבל אני רוצה להבהיר שאת ההחלטות שלנו אנחנו נקבל בעצמנו, ומדינת ישראל תעשה כל מה שצריך כדי להגן על עצמה. הממשלה תאשר היום את תוכנית תקומה לשיקום יישובי עוטף עזה, ומשקיע סכום של גדול מאוד, של 19 מיליארד שקלים, כדי להזניק את יישובי עוטף עזה לדורות. אנחנו נשקיע בדיור, בתשתיות, בחינוך, בתעסוקה, ברפואה ועוד. מחבלי החמאס ביקשו לעקור אותנו, אנחנו נעקור אותם ונעמיק שורש. It's building settlements in Gaza once again and surrounding them. You know, putting more Israelis at risk as well. But I don't know what to tell you. It's just become nuts. Uh, I want to play this for you here. Uh, it's got posted once. It's already been removed, and I'm sure they're going to remove it again. So I want you to be able to hear uh, Shamayn Nawani. Uh, and she gives an, an analysis of, and it's, she does speak in English, she gives an analysis of what Iran learned from this strike they did on Israel. And I think it's interesting. By the way, those are your hypersonic missiles that did hit their targets. Let's listen to what she has to say here. Iran now has a full map of Israel's missile defense system backs. It gained incredible intelligence. Not only that, it also got to see which countries would jump in to defend Israel. And the list was short. It was the U.S., the U.K., and France, all nuclear states. And then Jordan, because these guys needed an Arab or Muslim fig leaf. Iran had warned prior to the strikes and the days leading up to it, all its neighbors, do not participate in this. We will consider you a target. And they uh, obliged Iran. It was just Jordan. The intel that Iran gained from this, it's a huge strategic cost to Israel. Mm -hmm. They used the arrows, the Thad systems, David's sling, the Iron Dome, I mean, everything. Iran can now calculate which fighter jets will take off from Cyprus, which will take off from Jordan, which will, will any take off from Turkey, will any take off from the Gulf. Iran understands this now, you know, and it's going to be harder for these players to participate with Israel in a future strike. Importantly, Iran did this alone, absolutely alone. Israel could not do this alone. It needed three nuclear powers plus the Arab fig leaf to do this. The defense cost for Israel was $1.4 billion. Iran spent about 2.5% of that that night. So Iran could conceivably do this for days and weeks, if not months. That was just a kind of an interesting analysis of what Iran did discover in that and, and probably very accurate, that information. Uh, turning into other news, Indonesia, and I saw this actually last night, uh, but they have got the volcano that has erupted there. In fact, there was such a great concern that this, this, this eruption is so massive that they're concerned that part of the mountain could go into the sea and cause a tsunami. The, the, one of the highest alerts ever issued uh, for a, uh, a threat of tsunami from a uh, volcano was uh, with the eruption here of this volcano here uh, that is happening even now there. And what's interesting is this lightning and stuff that you're seeing all around these uh, volcanoes and stuff. Um, that just kind of makes me wonder what is causing uh, these volcanoes to go off in the world there and happening like that. That's just kind of odd there. It also, it makes you kind of wonder, like in the video I did over on our uh, Patreon.com uh, Israeli News Live channel there about this anomaly in Antarctica, could it be a similar type of situation? Don't really know for sure, though. I uh, wanted to just share this, too, in the Ukraine war. Uh, this here was kind of interesting. The situation in Chasav Yar became increasingly difficult for the Ukrainian army. Many combat units in the city did not obey combat orders from the commander. Now, I am assuming because of the overwhelming uh, push by Russia, uh, they're probably... Fleeing and 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 really I can't you can't blame them and remember this is 
This, this war is pitted by Chabad. They have pitted against the Russians, against the Ukrainians, because they're trying to eliminate the, the Slavic people of that region there. And if the people there would realize that they are basically brothers and sisters and stop killing each other, maybe then this war could come to an end. One thing in closing too, guys, especially with all this threat of war that is happening all over the globe there, is EMP shield. Uh, I can't even stress enough how important I think this is for you to have it on your vehicle, on your home, or anything else you want to protect in the event we get hit here at home. Uh, and that looks like that's very a, a real possibility in the not so distant future. Uh, now, I was trying to record this last night on the news broadcast, and there was something, a uh, little thing came up. You can only use, like it says here, sorry, you can only use one affiliate coupon per order. That may be because I keep trying to sh show this in demonstration that it's kind of messing up on my end there. I don't think it ha will happen on your end. I just do it to remind you of how to do it. I-N-L, Israeli News Live, and then the number 50 is what you put in there, and then you click Apply Coupon Code, and you will save $50 on your purchase. Now, in time past, it's always been that no matter how many you order, they would give you that discount. So I don't know what this actually means, what they're saying there, but nonetheless, definitely get what you have need of and get it installed. Uh, I've got some more to install myself. Uh, in fact, this week, because I am more concerned that this could certainly be something that could make a major difference in the event of any type of EMPS strike on on our land here, not to mention these crazy things. Like you see that lightning around that volcano. What the heck is going on? What is causing all of this? What are they doing? Uh, it's really crazy. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. God bless you.